students let's understand proper fractions with the help of this figure here it is proper for the large person to hold up the small person therefore fractions like 3 by 8 are proper fractions because 8 is a larger number and it is holding up the smaller number 3 now what if a small child holds up a large person it is improper therefore fractions like 8 by 3 is improper fraction because 3 is a smaller number and it is holding up the larger number 8 so students it means fractions which have numerator less than denominator are called proper fractions so from our previous example fractions like 1 by 7 1 by 8 and 4 by 7 are proper fractions because their numerators are less than their denominators students please note that value of proper fraction is always less than 1 let's understand why take an example where rahul and simran are eating one whole pizza now rahul takes one slice so what is the fraction of pizza left it is 6 by 7 as you can see this is a proper fraction and pizza left is less than 1 now Simran takes one slice, so pizza left is five by seven, which is again a proper fraction, and it is less than one. Again, Rahul takes one more slice, therefore pizza left is four by seven, which is again a proper fraction and is less than one. Finally, they both finish eating the whole pizza, and pizza left is zero. Therefore students value of proper fraction is always less than 1 Now what are improper fractions fractions which have numerator greater than denominator are called improper fractions For example 8 by 7 11 by 8 and 5 by 4 are improper fractions because their numerators are greater than their denominators students note that value of improper fraction is always greater than 1 students you must be wondering how to take out 9 parts from 7 so let's see how to interpret improper fractions to understand this let's divide 9 by 7 7 into 1 equals to 7 so 9 minus 7 equals to 2. Therefore, we get question equals to 1, remainder equals to 2, and divisor equals to 7. Now we can write the fraction as q r by d, which is equal to 1 2 by 7. Students, this form is called mixed fraction. fractions which have two parts a whole number followed by a proper fraction are called mixed fractions like in this example 1 is a whole number and 2 by 7 is a proper fraction students let's summarize what we have learned so far first was proper fractions where denominator is greater than numerator for example 2 by 7 and 1 by 4 next we learn improper fractions where numerator is greater than denominator for example fractions like 8 by 7 9 by 4 and then we talked about mixed fractions which consist of a whole number followed by proper fraction for example 2 2 by 7 and 1 3 by 4 students thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook and make sure to press the bell icon to receive the notification for my next video thank you bye bye